All right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to where we can start matching this paper up with our grid viewfinder, and then we'll work on our image a little bit, okay? So I want everybody to position your paper to where this extra space is on the right-hand side, that little extra one inch or space. And I want you to just kind of real light, just kind of draw yourself a squiggle line in it, okay? So what this is, is this little space here is going to be cut off by the end of your project, but for right now, you can leave it on there so you can use it as a color pencil like tester, okay? So this extra space, make sure it's on your right-hand side and just draw a really light squiggle line, okay? All right, now, So this one's smaller than these, so like that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, okay. and you're mm -hmm. you didn't line up. You gotta line up, kiddo. That's what you're doing. The, oh my gosh! This yeah. Is so cute. So line up. So you basically need to make sure that you're at every two inches. So you need to line up that one. And then yeah, okay. everyone's gonna have this extra space okay. there. Okay. So that's correct. Okay. 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 <laughs> I know. Okay. Rulers, they're tough. Okay. All right, guys. So. Grab your viewfinder next, this little guy here, and have that in front of you, and I'm gonna show you how you start to match it up. Okay? Hey. You're not lining your ruler up right. So you're starting here, but then you're not making it line up to this mark. You got it, it has to line up along all of your marks. You did okay here, but then you started to lose it here. Line up along your marks. That's why we're making the marks. Line up along all three. You'll have to, yeah. Where do we get this or how do we It's on the front, um, it's on the front table top tray. And then you just have to cut out the middle. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, check out your viewfinder here. You need to position it to where you have the letters. Let me move this around. Okay, here's your viewfinder. If you don't have one of these, it's in the front tray, top tray on the front table. Oh, no, second table over to your right. There you go. See it? Top tray. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Okay, guys. So have this position to where like the extra paper is on the right hand side or if you didn't cut that off, then you've got your letters at the top, A here and one here. This is gonna be important how you get this position, okay? So you have your letters, you've got your numbers on the sides. So now we're going to label our boxes on our paper to make them correspond, okay? So on my viewfinder, my first box that I'm starting with is A, right here. So my first large box right here, I'm gonna draw in a small letter A, okay? So my first box on this side, it's gonna be A. You're just making them correspond. So you got A, second box is going to be B, third one is C, and then the last column on the very left is gonna be letter D. Okay, so A, B, C, D. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same step down on the bottom squares. So the bottom square right next to that little one inch extra space, that's gonna be letter A. So I'm gonna put that in there and again, you're doing this real light. Then one over to the left, you got letter B, then letter C, then letter D, okay? So just kind of going backwards a little bit, A, B, C, D, and they're gonna correspond the same way, A, B, C, D, at the top. And now we're gonna add our numbers. Okay, so in the A box here, kind of, over here on this side, closest to this little extra space, I'm gonna give a number one. Okay, so I've got A, one. All right, 
Then next box down is gonna be number two. Next box down after that, pretty much the middle there, that's gonna be number three, one of the middle squares. Next one down after that is number four. And then if you haven't guessed yet, next one after that is number five. And then our last one is number six. Okay, and again, make sure you do this pretty light because you'll have to erase as you go, okay? So then I'm gonna move my paper around and I'm gonna go all the way to the left-hand side in this D column and I'm gonna repeat the same thing. So that first box will be number one. Okay, so number one, two, three, four, five, and number six. Okay, so whenever you're finished with your paper, and I'm gonna just turn it sideways just so you can see. So you should have letters A, B, C, D here and here. And then you should have your numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, the long ways. Okay. All right, did everybody finally get kind of a hold on that? I know sometimes it's tough. And everybody has your letters and numbers in there correctly. No? no? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all right. We can help you get caught up. So I'm going to call it good for that demo.